Hello guys, um, today we're going to talk about a great episode, um, The Headless Ghost. This one aired on September 21st, 1996. It has a 7.5 overall out of 10 on IMDb with about 100-ish user votes. Um, it stars uh, Adriana Benidor, I think that's how I pronounce her name. She was in The Adventures of Dudley Dragon, a kid's show from the 90s. Um, and... Uh, Kenny uh, Vadas, who was in uh, The Santa Claus, he was Elf Leader, as he's credited. And it's directed by uh, Brian R.R. R. Head, who did uh, directed some Pit Pony, but he's mostly a cinematographer, not really a director. Um, this episode's pretty awesome. Um, uh, the book, I love the book. The book was awesome. Um, it's a ghost story done right for me because to me the problem with ghost stories nowadays is they're very formulaic and I feel like they have zero personality. Now granted, don't take my word for it, I've been on this rant before. I haven't seen Conjuring or <coughs> excuse me, Insidious, but just, I don't know, they just don't attract me and it's for a reason. Um, Ah, this episode, well, first of all, this is, I say, a pretty intimidating episode in terms of, like, first of all, the cinematography is very awesome. Great use of effects for the ghosts and whatnot. Um, I love the setting. I love, I just love it. Now, in terms of adapting from the book, this could definitely have been a two-parter, in my opinion. This should have been a two-parter, <laughs> but um, but uh, I think they may cut out of the few ghosts, but it's still, but it has the gist right, the gist of the story and the main characters they get. Um, um let's see. Um, all right, so music is good. Music is good. Um, it has kind of a, a sea a sea theme to it, a sailor theme to it. It's pretty, it's definitely more eerie. It's very eerie. Um, the story, the stories are good. And actually, I'm surprised how much they got away with telling a story about a ghost, that, about a kid who died with, <laughs> from decapitation. <laughs> they, they go far enough in this episode. And they... In stories of heartbreak and tragedy and messed up shit, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. The acting's good. Without the acting's good. The cinematography's very good. Music's great. Um, man, the writing. The writing's pretty solid. Um, it's very well paced and edited too. It, it has a good pace. It follows through. I mean, the, they keep the focus on the point of the story. And they don't, it doesn't get sidetracked with any little thing. Oh, man. It's a great 20-minute ghost story piece. And it's very, and it's original ghosts, you know. It's ghosts with a story, ghosts with a personality, ghosts they, that, that can communicate what, how they feel and whatever. I enjoy it a lot. And... And definitely a checkout. Definitely one of the better 20-minute episodes. Like, definitely one of the top... It's so weird. I don't... Didn't really... I didn't feel that strongly at first, first binge watch it, but after re-watching it, I actually like it a lot more. But, um... Considering the last episode of Glock. Yeah. But, yeah. Um... Overall, great episode. Um... Check it out. Um... And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to vi the videos and have a good day.